Since membrane switches are custom, designed to meet specific applications, each product will have its own criteria to meet. Durpanel has used its more than 20 years of membrane switch experience to compile some of the most critical guidelines to designing and specifying our product. The use of these guidelines will help ensure that all aspects of product design are considered as to maximize the aesthetic quality, reliability, and efficiency of the final product. Before entering the design phase, there are some precautions that need to be paid attention to. Sorting out these points will make our design more in line with the needs of use. Thinking about these precautions is the major premise of designing membrane switches, which requires you to have enough knowledge about your product. If you don't know the answers to these questions, ask your product manager for help. Before designing, we also need to have a detailed understanding of the structure of the membrane switch. Membrane switches are generally composed of six layers, namely, back adhesive, lower circuit, the spacer, upper circuit, and graphic overlay. Now we need to select the proper material. The raw materials of membrane switch include PVC, PC, and PET. Here we summarize the differences between the three. Hope this helps you to make a proper choice. Then, it is time to design. This is a standard your panel production design drawing that covers all design points. We will use this drawing as a template to introduce the design of the membrane switch. Here are four basic design elements. The first one is blueprints. You need to outline the shape of the membrane switch according to your product and determine the length of each line. The second one is the color. Please identify the colors by using pants on color number. Well, color card or CMY can. In this drawing, we mark three colors out. Please make sure each color is marked out. Third, borders and outline. Avoid outlines close to cutouts or outer edges or circles within circles, as any misregistrations will be visually accentuated. The last one, text. Try to use common fonts when logos or symbols are used. It is best to supply film positives or accurate black and white artwork for manufacturer to scan. These are the most basic design elements. Due to functional requirements, most membrane switches have buttons, display windows, or LED indicators. In the panel drawing, there are six small light blue circles. These are actually LED light windows. But the color number of this blue is not needed because this color just helps us identify where the window is. Turpanel can provide membrane switches with LED as embedded inside. This method can prove very effective particularly when a printed circuit board is not needed directly behind the membrane switch. Now let's take a look at the button. Raising certain areas of the graphic overlay can offer a unique look to your product as well as provide an important function. Turpanel can emboss graphics into ways. Metal dome and die pressing. Metal dome is a stainless steel dome that assembly in the upper circuit layer, while die pressing is embossed silver pad that on the upper circuit layer. Now, the last part, back adhesive selection. Selection of the best adhesive will depend upon such factors as environmental condition, type of substrate, and smoothness of the surface. Durpanel firmly selects three M imported genuine adhesive. Five types of adhesive are provided by Durpanel. Please check this comparison chart to learn about each of them so that you can make a proper choice. The above are very basic knowledge of membrane switch design. If you are still confused about it or have some special requirements, welcome to visit your panel official website.